Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Jace Williams, and today we are playing Lego The Hobbit. Now, I did try recording this two other times, and uh, the first time I was trying to fix the um, full screen of the game, and for some reason OBS can't fix that, so I'm sorry about it being really small on, or smaller on your end, but you guys can still see it, that's good. Uh, the second thing is, there is no music. Sadly, uh, I did do one with music, and YouTube took it down immediately because I don't have the rights to the music, and even though it's on the video game... YouTube doesn't care. It doesn't want to get sued. So. Third type's a charm, everybody. Third type's a charm. So, I love Lord of the Rings, by the way. It's one of my favorite book series. I'm not a, a Harry Potter fan, but I do love Harry Potter. Well, I wouldn't say that. I, I like Harry Potter. It's a good series. But Lord of the Rings is the one that drew me into reading long novels. My dear Frodo. When I, when I was playing it the first two times, I, I love the fact that they brought my adventures. the original actor who played Gobo to do the narration. Ago, awesome. Far away to the east. May he rest in peace. He is amazing. Me, there was the city I of think Dale. I think it's Ian. In, uh... Peaceful and prosperous. For this city lay before the doors of the greatest kingdom in Middle Earth. Uh, hold on a second. I'm, I'm looking Erebus. it up now. Stronghold of Thrall, king under the mountain, mightiest of the dwarf lords. His line lay secure in the lives of his son, Ian Holm, and grandson. Ian Helm played Bilbo. <laughs> All would be amazing, dude. To him. Even the great elven king, Thranduil. And the story behind this, it has a great moral to it. Don't be greedy. Look at this. This king is offered a beautiful bow from the elves of peace. And he's just like, no, I don't want it. I don't want this thing. <sighs> Disrespects the elves. My liege, our king asks you to go and oversee today's mining operation. Now, I'm not going to complete this to 100% because it would take the mountain me itself. The beauty forever to city do. Was legend. Um. However, I am going to do the full stud bar, which you see popping up every so often I pull up. Does. I'm gonna do that because that's really easy to do. And technically, this is the first Lego game I picked up and played since the original um, Lego Batman game. That was, I think, 2004? This came out in 2000... No, maybe 2009. This came out in 2014. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna rush through this. this. I point this three different times. So, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I, I wish the, the first few... Oh. oh. Oh, I have to actually hit that. Okay. To learn, I, I can do this. Bad conveyance. I already know how to do this. Bam. And yes, I'm picking my favorite. Or Thorin. Even 
know if he's a jerk in the actual movie. In the books, he's more described as determined than being like, oh, I do not. He, he wants to do everything right for his people, and he, he doesn't want to be playing games. And And yes, he, he does have a big distaste for the elves because of what he does, but I'm not going to reveal it until it happens later on. That's why if you ever see it in the Lord of the Rings, there's a, a, a moment during the Council for the Fellowship where Gimli is like, we should never trust an elf. This story is the reason why. Precious gems hewn from rock, and in great seams of gold, running like rivers through stone. Like I said, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do this just doing the storyline. I think this is a cool part here, so like I said, I have not played a, a Lego game since I was young. I was a young whippersnapper. So, this concept's pretty cool. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be gathering um, pieces make uh, an item that I'm going to need later on. And it's pretty cool how they show you how this works. So, there is this one. And you get these little items here, these gems and gold. Hello, little door. Um, why are you wearing glasses? That, that seems out of place. Uh, 
Oh, oh that's cool. Oh. So up there, um, in blacksmithing, that is called a, uh, a hammer wheel, where one person starts hitting the metal to try and shape it, and the next person hits it, the next person hits it, the next person hits it, and it's like uh, a, a wheel or a conveyor belt. It's fun, but you gotta you gotta be very careful on how you hit that metal. You have to be very precise. Right Just one wrong strike and that piece of metal that you've been working on. You're, it turns out horrible and A, you're gonna have to start it again, or B, you're gonna have to uh, reheat it and reshape it. Oh, that, is, that is a chore to do. Any of you guys are blacksmiths or uh, welders or practicing to be welders, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Forming a piece of metal into the shape that you need it to be. You gotta hit it a certain way or the right way to get it to form. Also, if you hit wrong, you can crack the metal and you won't know until you heat treat it that you cracked the metal. Which is also a messed up but sad problem with metalworking. So, a little bit of ed education for you guys. And no, I, I I didn't get that from Fortune Fire. Yes, I do love that show. That is a good show. And some of those blacksmithers or welders, I, I, can, I can give them a run for their money. There, there are some that I'm just like, dude, what are you doing? Why, why are you doing that? Stop. Think about what you're doing. And some blades break. Oh, it's me. Sorry, guys. I'm gassy today. And I could do better than that. All right, so this is what I was talking about earlier with the building. So I'm going to put my materials down. Thorin's going to throw them in. So it's all smelting thing over there. Bam. Look at that. Oh yeah, and there's a mini game to it. So. Which I find really cool. Ow! The Thorin, is your hand okay? Is unequaled, fashioning objects of great beauty out of diamond, emerald, ruby, and sapphire. He just is like, I'm gonna put this up there and let two hammers smash my hand. I'm gonna be okay. Like, no! No, Thorin! Your head would be crushed. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this part real quick. So this dwarf is looking for his flute. It's right here. Like he's literally standing next to it. But I think it's just to show, hey, you gotta find some objects. Hey, look at them dancing. It's adorable. The adorable little dancing. I will take you. Bofar. Okay. Yeah, that's Bofar. Like, you never read the books. You didn't know that was Bofar. Listen, it has been a little while since I've read the books, okay? And I've seen The Hobbit maybe 
twice. Lord of the Rings, I've seen a lot more. I can recite that from front to back. I'm not gonna do that yet because that's gonna like continue the quest. Ooh, are those gold nuggets? Are those gold nuggets? Oh no! I'm just gonna wreck this and take whatever. Oh wait, is there? Oh no, there is just wood. There is just wood here. That's the cool thing about Lego, you can... Oh, I almost fell off the side of the mountain. And that wasn't going to be good. Like, yeah, you can make what's on the playset, or you can build your own thing and create your own. Stories and have fun. That was just cool about Lego. Oh, okay. That just went. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. So, now we're going to go over here, and Bofar, Bofar has a little ability where he can mine objects, which is cool. So we're going to do it again. Oh, man! But I know we'll come into play later on. Okay, here we go. One more time. Alright, so now I'm going to show you something that, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to quick do every time, but just for the sake of showing you how it, or how the game works. I am going to play through this little mini game. So, you can build Lego sets in here, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so, I need this, one, and you basically just match the pieces. Oh, I can just set that up, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna do this really quick, so you guys don't have to wait. That piece, that piece, this piece, bam. Get on the first try. Ever they delve deeper down into the dark. Right. And that is where they found it. This is cool. The Arkenstone. The heart of the mountain. The Arkenstone. This plays a key role. But Thor's love of gold have grown too fierce. 
begun to grow within him. And where sickness thrives, bad things will follow. Oh, the poor piggy's stuck on the roof. The first oh. they heard was a noise like a hurricane. I like the way that... Fallen! He's got a lot said holler. What is it? Hurricane. I'll try it. He was a fire drake from the north. Look at that guy. This city like of men was nothing. While running. <laughs> Legos are so silly. Covered oh, gold that's a beard. With a dark, what are you doing? Fierce desire. That glowing. Did you pull the loins beard? Smaug had come. Oh no, that's Fallon. You know, you stand here and. Um, if you guys are enjoying this series, I will definitely play the Star Wars Lego games. Because the that I grew up on. Coming, door coming in clutch with that axe. Oh, right, I gotta do. Which I think is a cool mechanic in this game. Where. Really? They're throwing trees now? Oh, the ants are not gonna like that. No, not one bit. He just threw his chin across the map. Sir, we are not taking any. Okay. Nope, no visitors. You can keep knocking on the wall. Or just break it entering. And... Oh gosh. Oh, what the I loved about what they did with the spa. Even though it is cartoony and so adorable, they make him look so scary. Oh, you greedy, greedy king. How dare you. How dare you, sir. Are just Such falling all over death the was place. dealt that day. Time to break some. 
Okay, I can't break those. Can I break this one? Oh! Oops. I gotta be careful with what I break. But I wanna complete that stone thing. That stud thing, which I'm almost there. Um. I gotta make sure I don't die before that happens. So, careful with all this. Get that so the flames go away. on his channel. I'm going to see if I can find it again. But, yeah, he does a really good job going into detail of what would happen if he took the ring. Or if he got possession of the ring. Instead of Gollum or, like, just somehow he got his hands on the ring. He just falls in. Oh, boy. Yeah, coming down. Oh no. Two people on here. Sorry about that. Someone took food. Uh, I don't know if we can do that. I have to try that. Sorry. No, you need to go back up there. Cause I oh <laughs> Sir, can you you, you please
love how he has the umbrella. Okay. Dragon in darkness. That's the funniest thing ever. Eric Roll was lost. Hold me alive! Uh, us! Thranduil would not risk the lives of his kin against the wrath of the dragon. No help came from the elves that day, nor any day since. The young dwarf prince never forgave, and he never forgot. It's sad. that I, I get why the elves did that, but... Thorin was right to be not happy with the elves. And that starts the hatred between the elves and the wars, is that moment there. Because it wasn't his fault that his father was greedy. It was, or his grandfather was greedy. No, it was his grandfather. His grandfather was a greedy old man. And kids, don't be greedy. Because then you're, you, in times of need, well, they can get you anywhere. The wealth won't save you. It'll be your friends. So we're going to... Ting oh, this is another thing I love. I love the... the um, I guess the cutscenes? Or the... Uh, what's it called? That, Loading my screen? dear Frodo. I mean, the cutscenes are great, in, too. They're amazing. In a hole in the ground. They lived a hobbit. I think we are. Yeah, Sam and Frodo. Okay, so I'm going to stop this here. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I'm loving the game. Um, come back for part two. It'll be up tomorrow. Love you all. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.